Hello guys, welcome back. So I'm just doing a voiceover from the workout that I've done on Tuesday and as you know I haven't made a YouTube video in a very very long time now. Uh made our last competition go bella say I had done a lot of vlogs and uh barbenders and a barbenders on the Agadi go bella, a pump go bella I'd done a lot of vlogs and I haven't been very consistent ever since. There are now that I think I should start making more videos just because my lay made us think of like the Purana vlogs and everything. It was a lot of fun and then looking back and how I've progressed over the time and Barbenders Belako. I worked really hard but then I don't have the behind the scenes any not just for you guys but then for myself funny <clears throat> I just have the training videos but then I don't know how I was feeling like pizza tira go prep my when it was really hard any uh so now I would say I'll do even though I get lesser views than their Instagram story my bunny on my YouTube here. That uh yeah I'll keep the progress in our uh, competition on that here I'll know how it goes. So as you can see uh I'm just getting hyped up for squats and uh, this day I had uh 177 kgs day tempo squats of uh, four sets of uh, five repetitions. Uh, so tempo got the carry say it was supposed to be a five second eccentric as you can see I'm trying to go down as slow as I possibly can pause for a few seconds and come back up so I did that for around uh, four sets of five reps and he having having been detrained after the meet so my work capacity is finally coming up because we're uh, three three weeks outside the meet three weeks post meet let's say so my work capacity is finally coming back but then it's still a lot in uh, the time under tension on these exercises was crazy so your video code topic is regarding building a big back i suppose uh, so back say powerlifting training it's very 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 super important and the training the back in a squat movement pattern uh, with the tempo is obviously very very helpful because it's specific to the training and a uh, lot of guys i've seen have the tendency to, tendency to fall over during the squats and this is one of the exercises to make it uh, better so this day was my mm, i think the third working set which was the hardest working set so i thought i'd share with you guys and show that even a lightweight like this can uh, be super effective uh I'm just waiting for the last rep now which was like deadly there pillar there uh this is the fourth set uh just wait for this one so here we go <laughs> that was quite a fight <laughs> so yeah i did four sets of five then i moved on to the real back workout uh, so I started off with penle rows. Penle rows got the carry. Uh, what you really want to focus on is uh, creating the explosive uh, move on the concentric part of the lift. So, but then obviously complete the full range of motion. Uh, Any lower down at your own pace. Uh, I was just dropping the bar down, which looks kind of silly. And the next set might correct it. But then, yeah. So yeah, pull the bar really. Uh, in an aggressive manner, concentric. I'm um, just using the blocks to in decrease the range of motion. You always want to increase the range of motion of a particular lift, but then my hamstrings and all were really tight. Plus, the squat shoes has some elevation, so this LA I was just using a bl using blocks. So next time, but I'll definitely remove it. And that was Penley rows, four sets of about 12 reps. Uh, once Penley rows were done, I moved on to just supported dumbbell row with a slow eccentric here as you can see i'm trying to lower the weight down as slowly as possible i need a lot of control in this movement because penle row was a very explosive movement i need, uh, just fill in the gaps with some controlled squeezes and uh, slow eccentrics so yeah uh done again four sets of about 10 reps here i think it was 10 reps uh and then weight say uh, just using something that i can control but then 20 kgs was a bit too light so the orko tinta set which i've sped up uh, i did it with 25 kilos and he added the straps in because back when the pilot that was the 
uh, limiting factor to me. I felt like so I just threw on some straps and I think Rose got the straps are fine uh, as long as you've got enough grip strength to pull off a deadlift in my case. Back to Twitter exercise occupants, I moved on to do some uh, straight leg sit-ups. Super set it with bird dogs which I was holding for about uh, 10, 5 to 10 seconds. Uh, straight leg sit-ups I did 4 sets of 25. So me, I wasn't really a big fan of direct core work until my coach programmed it for me. Uh, but also because I read the book The Gift of Injury where Stuart Miguel talks about how important uh, his big three lifts are one being the bird dog which I'll do in a moment and the Orko Duitaze being side planks and uh, side planks and Miguel curl ups uh, which you have to do the way he prescribes it and he pairing it with 10 minute walks uh, after meals every day which has got a lot of benefits which I keep talking about uh, and he, this also has helped me, helped me out a lot uh, doing these rehab works I feel a lot healthier nowadays than I used to once and he, I've become stronger being more injury free and that's basically it uh, also my lip made a back call I exchange rest they go because I had done four sets uh, four sets of two exercises previously and he doing pull-ups right away uh, wouldn't make that much more sense to me at least because I weigh quite a lot <laughs> around 95 96 at the time of working out so yeah so US occupancy I moved on to do four sets of 10 pull-ups at body weight as you can see Gare and some Malay pull-ups this was I think the second or the third set so I was pretty fried by this time and to wrap up the video coming back to the topic uh, as back is one of the most neglected body parts after legs uh, you would want to train your back with a lot of variation a lot of frequency frequency meaning more than once per week and uh, performing every exercise with the full range of motion that the exercise can provide selecting appropriate exercises uh, training it more than once per week and slowly progressing it uh, with intensity or just volume in the same range of motion or the movement pattern let's say and it will have great carryover to your power lifts and your physique in general thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you all next time